Now, in just a few hours' time, Donald Trump is going to be sworn in as the 45th President of the United States. With a new president, of course, comes a new first lady. So as Melania Trump prepares to take over duties from Michelle Obama, what can we expect from her? Well, let's go to Washington now to talk to political commentator Laura Schwartz to find out more. Laura, what sort of first lady do you think Melania is going to be? Well, good morning, Lorraine. We will see in the next few hours, starting with the fashion she walks out under the U.S. Capitol platform with. Everybody's wondering what she'll wear, what designer she'll be wearing, and pretty much within hours, they will cut a fabric very similar, almost to like when the, the, the princesses come out in England uh, so that everybody else can get a copy of that dress before the end of the day. So it'll be very interesting. We don't know yet what her platform is. You know, the first lady title in the United States is unofficial. There's no money for it. It's just an unofficial ambassadorship of the country to the world. She has given some hints that she wants to really face cyberbullying, which is very interesting because her husband, as I'm sure your viewers are well aware, President-elect Trump, who gets sworn in in a few hours, uh, really takes to Twitter and has some tough things to say. So we mm. will find out as the days and weeks unfold. We will. Now, it's an interesting one, this, because uh, Trump seems to be wanting to make it a family affair. Fair. And we hear that his daughter Ivanka is set to play a key role, but surely there's going to be some sort of conflict there, I would have thought. Who is going to be First Lady? <laughs> Well, Melania Trump's going to stay in New York State for about the next six months while their son, Barron, is in school. And then she's going to be coming here to Washington, D.C. In the meantime, Ivanka Trump will take over most of those duties as first lady. Uh, often has happened if there has been like a widow uh, were in the White House. And then the daughter will help take a, a, on some of the social obligations, the different roles. But I think once Melania does arrive in Washington in about six months' time, she'll be going right into that role, whether that be first hostess, the mother-in-chief like Michelle Obama was, and as well, really picking up and clearing a platform forward. Do you think, though, she's going to take an active role? I mean, she says that she's an admirer of Jackie Kennedy, and Jackie Kennedy famously gave the White House a, a real refurb. Um, is she likely to kind of trump up the White House? <laughs> are we going to see that? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, Lorraine, a lot of people in America are worried that she's going to trump up the White House because they've seen his opulent Mar-a-Lago and mansions around the world. Uh, what's really interesting about the White House and its refurbishment, uh, same thing as Jackie Kennedy when she was first lady. The White House Historical Society and the Endowment has about six people in charge of rendering when and what rooms at the White House are ready to be refurbished. So mm. it's not really for the first mm. lady to choose, but the first lady would sit on that committee as they look at fabrics, as they look at things that need to be redone. Jackie Kennedy redid the Blue Room, and then Hillary Clinton re redid the Blue Room. Uh, years later, uh, Michelle Obama did the old family dining room and the Red Room herself. So it really is what part of that very old house needs to be, uh, sure. you know, brushed off of it and taken up to new standards. Well, Lord, we so we'll in, see if any of those have to be redone in the we next We will four. indeed. Laura, thank you. We live in interesting times. Thank you very much indeed. I'm sure we'll be talking to you very soon.